Hey everyone, my name is Elizabeth Graham and I am a gold ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. I am so excited to be doing this Zoom chat for you guys today. I am actually going to be focusing a lot with time management and I titled this, Are You Controlling Your Time or Is Your Time Controlling You? A lot of the times as women, I know for me, um, we tend to multitask and do different things and try to put our focus on multiple things instead of focusing on that one task that's at hand right now at the moment. So I was going through my Bible and I found um, an area that spoke specifically for women about time management. So I figured why not do this Zoom and share it with you guys about what the Bible actually says about managing your time. So these words aren't all mine. It comes from my Women's Study Bible, but I just thought I would share it with you guys and kind of share a little bit about what I read. And so one of the things that I read is it takes maximum effort and realistic planning. So you can't plan your day out, especially with a little one. You can't plan it hour by hour because that's not realistic. Kids change their mind. They, they change things. So you, what happens is you can't be exactly what you want. So it doesn't go as you planned because you're planning way too – it's not strategically smart. And so you must be intentional with your scheduling, um, scheduling your time. So what I found with is when you're very intentional with scheduling your time, you will find that your day goes a little bit smoother and your day tends to go a little bit better. Yeah. It doesn't mean you schedule every second, but you block out time for reading your word, working out, cleaning your house, spouse time, and of course your business. So you end up looking at your planner which is very important if you um, work out and you have multiple things that you do, like cleaning, taking care of your baby, um, working out, and your business. It's very important that you, you plan ahead and you plan with intentionality. So you want to make sure that you are um, scheduling, your, you're blocking out that time specifically. Now for me, reading my word sometimes is either early in the morning, first thing, or it's really late at night. Maybe for you it might be different, but Making sure you plan that accordingly is important for your business. Planning the times that you're going to spend with working your business. If all you have is 15 minutes, let's say that's all you have is 15 minutes because your kid is constantly on you. I remember when Rylan was um, little, she was seriously a baby when I first started. She was um, less than three months old. And so when I started, I decided to basically work it whenever she was sleeping so whenever she slept was on me on my chest because she was one of those baby wearing babies um she would sleep on me and i would be on my phone texting or i would be messaging or responding back to people doing everything that i could in order to to make sure that i was intentional with my time and so I didn't have to schedule that, but I knew that was my free time. I knew that was the time I had in order to, to work my business. So that's what I did. I'm sorry. Um, trying to do this and also with, be with the baby. Um, I did everything that I could as much as I could. And so as a, like I said, as a new mom, you know, I had way more time. I feel like when your baby is, is less than, you know, six months, you have a lot of free time because they sleep more. The older they get, the harder it does become because I know for me, it got really hard as Raylan got older because she was needing a little bit more of my time so we can play, we can work on crawling, all these different things. And so if you have a baby that's small, take advantage of this time that he's sleeping. Um, take advantage of this time that the baby is, is asleep because I know for me, I don't have that much time now because Rylan doesn't sleep as much. She is now trying to force herself to go down to one night nap as I'm trying to force her to go down to stay with two. So I only have that time to work my business clean, do whatever I have to do while she's napping. Um, another thing is I listen to training calls. When I was cleaning, uh, instead of me listening to music or watching TV, I was putting in my on my phone and putting it on our sound bar so I could listen to um, – any training calls that I that I wanted to listen to. And I got a lot of information taken that way. Now, I am a note taker, so if some of you are note takers, my best advice is listen to it once and then go back when everyone is asleep or whenever you have that free time and write down your notes because that's what I do. Um, I just have a few thoughts coming straight out of the Bible, like I said in the beginning. 
Um, there are some things that the word says about planning and time management and making sure you're controlling your time. It's not controlling you. And the first thing is acknowledging that you have the time. That's the same amount God has given to everyone. So God didn't give me 24 hours and you 10 hours. That's not how God works. He gave us the same amount of time. And it is up to you to be diligent and be wise with your time. I love that, you know, that you have to be wise with your time. You're only given 24 hours a day. You need to sleep. You need to shower. You need to brush your teeth. You need to cook. You need to eat. You need to clean. You need to um, read your word. There are things like that. But so many people get distracted by scrolling through Facebook that they lose about an hour to two hours a day just doing that. And so we all have the same time. You need to determine how to utilize that time. You know, using small bits of time faithfully, you can accomplish great things. That comes from Ecclesiastes 9.10. Ecclesiastes 9, you have, if you even have just a little bit of time, like we always say, 15 minutes here, 10 minutes there, 15 minutes here, you know, 30 minutes here, whatever. Those are small bits of time that you have, and that's very important for you to use that wisely. Especially if you're trying to run a business from home, there's really no excuse to I don't have time because we do have time. It's where we put our time in that matters. If you look at your schedule, this is my this is my notes, but let's say you look at your calendar and your calendar is empty. Let's say you only have you only have, let's say, you're putting your word here that you're writing, you're putting spousal time, kid time, nap times, and then it's pretty much empty the rest of the day then maybe you need to sit down and you need to really fill in those gaps with something that'll help you build your business and help you grow as a person by reading um, personal development books, whatever it may be. Um, number two is order your day what it will do. Um, I'm trying to get something here. Your day needs to be ordered by you, not the other way around. You need to take control of your day, your time, what you do with it, how you use it. I know for me right now, my husband is deployed, but I know when he comes home, I'm going to be now going back to being a wife, a cleaner, like housekeeper. I already do grocery shopping, but all of that is going to happen so fast in my life at the end of this month that I need to now create my schedule as if my husband was home. So yesterday when I was moving around, I didn't have the time to just sit here like I am now. And I didn't have the time to sit there and just work my business on a desk or whatever. I couldn't do that at all. The only time I had was in between moving boxes, in between unpacking. Rylan slept 30 minutes. That is it. Even on the drive to San Diego, she didn't sleep. So I had to listen to training calls during that time. I found it to be... What happened was since I had told my time and I ordered my day what to do, I wrote down my um, what I did for the day. And um, this is something Tessa taught me. And I wrote down everything I did, who I talked to. And once I looked at this, I said, oh my gosh, I actually did more work than I thought because I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things in a day where I thought I couldn't even do one. So maybe that's something you need to do at the end of the day is you need to write down what you did to accomplish your business. I got these, um, I got this actually at, uh, at Target for a dollar. I went to the dollar section and they have these, you put the date, um, and I figured why not use this instead of a big notebook and kind of use up a whole page for that. And you get a little sticker, so I wrote down my name and my nickname, Liz Dog. <laughs> but um, things like that, I'm, I'm using, I'm trying to be organized as best as I could. Um, but you need to order your day what to do, what it needs to do. And so eating, resting, you need to rest. That is very important. That's something I learn every single day that is important for me to rest. So you need to rest. Number three, the third thing I want you to think about is comes from Proverbs 31, 15. Now, we are all, all of us, you know, um, women of God are trying so hard to be a Proverbs 31 woman. But y'all have no idea what this woman did. Shh, shh, sorry. Y'all have no idea what this woman did. Katara, come here, please. Come here, please. Thank you. Go lay down. Come on. Go lay down. Um, uh, she, the very first thing she did was she arise, arose early. She was up when it was dark, meaning between, they say she was up between 3 and 5 a.m., 
getting her house ready, taking care of things. I know we think about that and we're like, oh my God, that's crazy. How can someone do that? Well, what happens is she arose early and this is what I took out of it. And that's something I'm still working on. Um, there are days that I can get up at five. There are other days where I just can't get up till eight. So it's just, you know, trial and error, something I'm, I'm trying to personally overcome. But if it's hard during the day, wake up an hour early. They say when you wake up an hour early to do anything, whether it's exercising or knocking out some chores or, you know, um, doing your business, they say you, it, your day is just so different. You just open up so much for your day. And so what I say is um, wake up an hour early to do everything that needs to be done so you can work your business. Waking up an hour early to maybe – put a load in a laundry, separate the laundry, maybe clean the stove, maybe empty, clean the pantries, whatever it is that you feel you're overwhelmed with, try and wake up an hour early. I can honestly tell you guys, I wake up and I still wake, I was still getting up at five, but um, Rylan gets up at one, three, and five, and then seven. Still, she's still getting up every two hours. So it's like I have a newborn again. But she's still getting up every two hours, um, and that's something that we're working on. But I'm still not getting sleep at all because I'm, I'm doing that. And I still manage to not nap during the day. Thank God for Plexus, y'all. Um, and I just work my business whenever I can. So this is something you, you, have to, you have to figure that getting up early might help you with your business more than you think. Number four. And I love this, um, and it's so awesome how it said it in my word, um, but use the maid servants, that's how it said it, maid servants God has given you. So when the Proverbs 31 woman, um, she had maid servants, you know, she had people to help her, like wash the dishes, um, go get grain, go get, sorry, um, to, to run errands for her. Well, one of the things that they mention in this in my, my Bible is God gave you gave you maid servants right now. Those maid servants are appliances, cell phones, Bluetooth, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we have all the things that women back in the days didn't have. Let me see, let me let me tell you what I'm talking about when I say that is you have a vehicle so you don't have to walk to the grocery store. In that vehicle, most vehicles now have auxiliary cords or they have like Bluetooth so you can play music. So instead of jamming out to Taylor Swift, jamming out to whatever you listen to, I don't know, um, put on a, a quick training video. We have training videos that are like 30 minutes or less. So let's say for me, for example, it takes me approximately 10 minutes to get from my house, 15 minutes from my house to the gym. And I do the gym four times a week. So instead of me putting on my reggae or putting on what I listen to, I don't do this all the time. So I do have some times where I like to listen to music. So don't think I'm one of those people that just doesn't listen to music. But I have times where I listen to music. So the, most of the time during the week or most of the times I don't listen to music. So what I'll do is before I get in my car, I find a YouTube video I want to listen to so I'm not driving and looking. And I look it and I find it. It's usually Emily, Emily Roberts, Sarah Robbins, uh, Rebecca Fultz, all the diamonds from Plexus. I listen to them. I listen to them. Oh, okay, mom. I listen to them and I get so much training while I'm driving. You know, I'm not saying music is bad. Just for me, that's what worked for me. Is I was getting training. Katara, Katara. I'm so sorry. Shh. Come here. Let's go outside. Come here. Outside. Come on. Oh, sorry about that. And so um, I would get, I'm getting training, you know, in, in those 15 minutes it's taking me to get to um, the gym. I'm training myself on the way back. I'm training myself. I'm constantly trying to train myself because I know I can't sit anymore. I can't sit anymore and just listen to a training call anymore. It just, it's not working for me anymore. So instead of me saying, I just don't have the time, I'm now saying, okay, it's going to take me from here to the grocery store, it'll take me maybe 10 minutes. So I got to listen to a training call in between those time. That's 20 minutes. So uh, another thing, appliances. We now have stoves. We have ovens. We have microwaves. We have refrigerators, things they didn't have before. 
We have, a st we have an oven and crock pots that we can make meals from. That is something incredible God, God basically created for us is crock pot meals, sticking stuff in the oven for like 20 minutes. And something Holly Torres said today in one of the training videos that I listened to is she would put her laptop on the kitchen counter and she would have it open to her like Facebook or whatever it is. And she would be working while cutting up vegetables, while making food. And that's genius because you know what? That's using your time wisely when you don't have all the time in the world. You're using the time God has given you wisely instead of being unwise with it. And, and then Bluetooth, what I mean by Bluetooth is, you know, maybe the voice messenger on your, on your phone, you know, through Facebook, you know, just leaving a voice message that way. And then another thing is just your Instagram and Facebook. Um, Facebook, like I said, has voice message, but you don't have to sit there and message tons of people all day. You can just sit there, respond to people and answer any questions they would have um, by simply just through Facebook um, and through Instagram. Um, and number five is one of my favorites is use the evenings to rest, reflect, and prepare for tomorrow's work. I love it. Usually what I do is um, I have a to-do list pad that I bought at Target for like a dollar. Love the dollar section. And on that pad, it says to do. And every night before bed, I sit on my table and I write down everything I need to accomplish the next day to make sure I do it. If I don't see that, I personally can get overwhelmed because I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what to do today. And so I get a little overwhelmed because of it. And so I try my best to simply write down my business, maybe personal, it's mostly business. Um, personal, I already know in my head what I gotta do. But what I like to do is put down all my to-do lists um, for my business and some personal in there. And then I get to see it in the morning and I, oh, I, I grab it, it's a little, little thing. I'll actually grab it to show you guys. So it looks like this and it says to do. And I write it down, everything, I write down everything that I need to do and accomplish. And this is what I see in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I need to do um, cards. I need to send thank yous, emails, set up meetings, this and that. And then like, boom, boom, boom. I cross it off as it's going. It's not all crossed off right now because I'm barely sitting down. But um, this is what I work with. So use your time to sit down at night to just rest and reflect. That's something I learn every single day. And it's, I have, a, 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 I have my own personal struggle of resting. I don't, I don't like to rest. I, I, God is teaching me to rest on Sundays. Those are the days I rest. But um, as, as we enter into ending this deployment, I have to learn to rest on the evenings because that's when my husband will be home and I'll be able to spend time with him. And so number six, and this one I have it in asterisks and in big letters for myself because this is something I learned um, maybe a month or two ago, is stop scrolling Facebook until you have completed all of your tasks. Here's why. So when I first started, um, Rylan was, you know, little. I had more time, so I could scroll through Facebook while um, she was asleep on me or when I wasn't doing anything. As she got older... I started having less and less time, but I still had those habits of scrolling Facebook and I would spend hours scrolling Facebook. I thought that was an income producing activity um, personally, but it's not. So what I found was that I personally don't go on Facebook until the end of the night and I miss so many things, but that's okay with me because I was very productive during the day. So if you feel that you don't have time to work your business, I'm going to ask you to do something and I'm going to challenge you to do something. I'm going to challenge you to get some kind of a notepad or the book that I have that I got for a dollar. Um, I don't know where my daughter put it. Um, and I want you to write down what you did during the day. You have to put Facebook um, and how long you were on it and keep putting it down. I did this with one of my level ones. Um, we were both really struggling with that. Um, her and I, it was funny, 
we started setting timers on our phones for when to scroll Facebook of 10 minutes increments. That's how bad it was for both of us. We had to put a timer on ourselves to scroll Facebook and Instagram. Well, mostly Facebook because I wasn't into Instagram. But um, I will tell you guys that what made it incredible was that I realized I was wasting a lot of time when I could be doing other things like spending time with my baby, spending time with my husband, playing fetch with my dogs, um, cooking, whatever. And I haven't had any kind of interest to scroll Facebook. I know that's bad, but I don't. Like I, at the end of the night, I scroll for two minutes and then I'm done. Like I, I have all my level ones, you know, um, I show love on their posts and stuff like that. So I have all of my people on my team. You know, you can do that on your desktop. You can set little um, groups. And the cool thing is on your phone, you can set groups. Um, you can't set them, but you can look at the groups. So let's say you have a group of ambassadors and customers so you can show love on them. That's what I do. I just go on my level ones and I show them love and I'm good. I'm done for the day. Um, I interact with people during the day, uh, meaning like if I have a follow-up, I'll follow up on their posts or I'll follow up with them. But I don't necessarily scroll through Facebook looking um, at people's things. I just don't have the time for that. So that's something that I challenge you. Get a notepad. Write down what you did during the day, even your business, because once you write it down, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I did so much for my business, more than I thought I did. And so I encourage you guys to do that. Um, and remember. God gave you 24 hours in a day. What you do with it is up to you, whether you are wise or unwise with your time. All right. You guys have a wonderful night. God bless you.